Dr. Carl, let's talk senses. Kalahari Bushmen, Bulgarian Orthodox Christians, and American self-help gurus like Anthony Robbins have practiced firewalking for centuries. Whether it's for religious or cultural festivals, taking children into manhood, or gouging thousands of dollars out of hapless middle-level sales management people as you convince them they can sell more coal than the guy down the road, <laughs> we've been walking on coals for ages. The front lawns of Sydney Uni are being turned into a fire pit where Adam will test his sense of touch by walking over red hot coals. <laughs> this is the pit of death that Adam will be walking over shortly. It's really hot. The surface temperature is around, I'm getting 446, but deep in the body of it, uh, what are you measuring, Dr. Bosey? A couple of hundred degrees hotter, about 640, 650. Back in the 1960s and 70s, the Chinese space program used slabs of oak 10 centimetres thick like this as heat shields on their re-entry vehicles to protect them from the heat as they came back into the atmosphere. The wood would turn into charcoal as a terrific insulator and a bad conductor. It took a lot of energy to get them hot, and once they were hot, they wouldn't give up their heat easily. Now, that's what we hope will happen when Adam walks across the fire pit soon. The coals will be very hot, but because they are very good insulators and very bad conductors, they will not, we hope, give up any of their heat to his feet. The secret. The strange laws that govern you and everything else in the universe around us. Yes, the laws of physics. Please send $50 to Dr Carl at the ABC. Yes, Adam, it is time for you to go and do the firewalk. <laughs> Everything's set. The fire brigade's here. The Ambos are standing by. Adam's feet have thousands of nerve endings, and it's just dawning on him what he's about to do. Mate, that is so hot, I'm feeling the metal on my watch get right. really, really hot. Excellent. How hot? Um, 400, mid-400 C on the surface, mid-600s in the body of the coals. At what temperature does flesh burn? Oh, 55 degrees C, you can get a decent burn off a of hot water. Fantastic. 55, 60 degrees C. So we've got about 600 more than that. Yeah, but if the coals are as we believe, and they are very good insulators, they will not give up their heat to your little feet, and you will walk across unscathed. You started that sentence not just with if, but hope. Yeah, Excellent. yeah. The wind is blowing it up to a nice cheery red glow. There's nothing to worry about. No, no, no. Trust no, no, no. in physics. Trust indeed. <laughs> Let's do this. The nerves and the soles of Adam's feet will send to his brain the sensations of touch and vibration, but hopefully neither heat nor pain. Come on, come on, make some noise, people. Woo! OK, it was Newton who said P equals K delta T. Let's do this. <laughs> You can certainly feel it, but it didn't feel like it was a few hundred degrees. Because it was such a good insulator. It would hang onto the heat and not give it to your little feet. In the interest of science, I'll give this a go myself. Even though I trust the laws of physics, this should be attempted only under controlled conditions. I'm only doing this because Adam did it first. I'm really impressed by your bravery. Oh, gosh. Wow! The laws of physics actually work! I'm going to start a church and charge people to join. 